tell me I was robbed by Team Aqua, I have to get the dev of goods back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in some serious trouble. Oh, uh, we'll get your goods back. We'll get your goods back. <laughs> What is going on everybody? Gambit Axiom here bringing you episode 3, I believe, of the Pokemon Sapphire Randomized Nuzlocke series in our Generation series. Quick note, if you do enjoy what I do, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, would urge you to subscribe, comment, and like the video. Have a good time with us. Um, I was going to do team recap, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, we do have Chipamon, our Gengar, our team carry, the one, the only. He's here, he's ready to... He's ready to wreak havoc across the nation of Hoenn. Is this Hoenn? I think it's Hoenn. Next up, we do have Dilugin, that Totodile, soon to be Croconaut. Gonna be very, very nice to have that in one level. We do have Mr. Crab holding up that Krabby Claw of his. We do have the Empath on that cast form. And we have Tai Chi on the Meditite and Caterpie the Weedle. Um, that could be confusing, but it's okay. We're, we're trying to get rid of them as soon as possible. But anyway... Um, we were going to, I believe, do the gym first. We'd already caught our route. We'd have already been up here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into the gym. Um, we'll put Totodile in the front so that he can evolve soon. And we'll just have ourselves a dandy little time. <sighs> I, I want to fight you. I could go around. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Well, you're probably not. I think I could take all of you quite lightly and I'll be A-OK. -okay. Ditto. Ditto right back at you. Um, I am recording this one uh, quite early. It is Saturday. <laughs> this, this video will be out on Monday, so. I always like talking about when I record. I feel like it's fun breaking the fourth wall a little bit. Today's Monday, though, for everyone else here. Or, you know, Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever you choose to watch this video. Oh, it's got rage. Building that rage. So if it copies my stats, it's going to have pretty high uh, base base attack and defense. It's not going to be too problematic. Jumpluff. Now, man. Really wanted to get Totodile to a Krogan. Oh, he's not going to be Krogan until level 18, actually. So we're actually probably... I, I'd have to fight those trainers. To, I will, we'll do it, probably, because I think I want it. It's going to be a really big power spike having that uh, Krogan on instead of just the Totodile. So we'll probably grab it. Um, but hope everyone has is is having a fantastic day, regardless of the day that you are watching this video. So, always hope. Actually, does this thing only have splash? And might just have splash. Kind of think I was. I don't know what I was thinking. I might have leech seed or something. Larvitar. Now that's something Dilution can take care of quite quickly. He's got that rock ground type. Ready to be water gunned down with that mystic water that Dilution always carries. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, currently, oh, I guess I could talk a little bit. So, currently, like I said, yesterday was my birthday. If you, um, you saw Friday's video, I didn't even mention it. I don't, I don't like mentioning it most of the time, but we were in Tater's, um, we were in his, uh, what is it? His insurgents run on a uh, Friday, so. We told everyone and sang us a little happy birthday. It was fun. That is a big ball trace. So, I am rehydrating quite a bit. <laughs> after, um... After, a, you know, a little too much party. On that, on that birthday. But we're doing okay. We are, like I said, drinking a lot of water today. The water never tasted so good. I wish Dilution could squirt that water gun in my mouth. Would taste absolutely great, I'm sure. We gotta be kind of careful. I wasn't even thinking about how this is a Maltrace. It's still got a very high base attack, I'm sure. You know, I definitely saw the matchup and was just like, Oh, we're fine, water versus fire, but I probably should have played that a little more careful. Um... Mm. Well, I mean... I want to hit that power spike of the Croconaw, but there's really not going to be much... Um... These trainers aren't going to give me that much experience, I don't think. I mean, some of them might, depending on the Pokemon they have. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to need a good chunk of experience to get to 18, and I don't know if 
you know, the three trainers on this route will give it to me. <sighs> I guess we'll find out because, uh, again, I, d I do want... We'll grind up to 18, I think, either way. Because I do I do want the croc, and like I said, it's a nice power spike before the first gym. Gym leaders are always scary randomized, so... My Pokemon rule, check them out. All right, show me them, show me them, come on. Youngster Joey, if that's your real name. Togepi, yeah, that's not a lot of experience. Actually, with the Mystic Water, I bet Water Gun does just as much. Well, we're about to find out. Oh yeah, and we're back to Gen 3 mechanics. Because again, we were playing a little bit of Insurgents with Tate. <clears throat> and so we actually were using some, some newer mechanics, okay. Um, so I gotta get, I gotta re refresh my mind back to Gen Three mechanics. Oh, okay, only just ten. Ten's not bad. Okay, that that was a lot more than ten. That was eighteen. That was thirteen. Thirteen on the second hit on the crit. Five on the regular hit. That's just so weird. Ah, we're not gonna chance that one. It, it could be fun, but... Gosh, I don't know why every time I start to record, I start to get tired also. No, oh, it's got static as well. Man, dude, what what else had static? I think it was like a water type we were fighting in the very, very early routes. Also had static, and I was really upset. Maybe it was, um... Maybe it's just something else with a normal type move. I can't remember what it was. It was something I was kind of I was kind of keen on, as I recall. Like I definitely liked whatever it was before it had static. And then it had static. <laughs> Alright. Quick heal of the Pokemon, of course. Um, and again, I don't want to take too long to do this, but again, I do want that Krokin off of the, the power spike, so. We'll see if, um, we'll see if we can, I don't want to, again, I don't want to rush too much through it, so we'll fight all the battles normally. I'm just trying to, trying to, you know, get us there as quick as possible. Again, I'm used to being kind of, kind of on a timer. Gotta rehydrate, of course, as well. That is ice cold. <clears throat> Chills the teeth, it's so cold. But it is good. It is really good. I don't know if you guys ever have that feeling when just water tastes so good. You know, like after after like, you know, a long a long workout or after playing sports for like an hour. And you just get that first sip of ice cold water. Oh. That's how I feel right now. I feel on top of the world. Um, it does look like we're actually gonna hit this fairly easily. It's level 18. Gosh, does Wilmer only have Splash as well? I guess you're not supposed to be able to catch these until like level 30. This is probably, this is still the gen, I think it's, I don't know how long it goes, but I think this is the, either the last gen or the second to last gen, where they do, um... Oh, we won't even fight the next trainer, we'll just encounter a Pokemon here. It's either this gen or the the next gen is the last gen that they um they basically you don't have a um, a move set on a lot of Pokemon. I know this is the one where they add it in. If you're a final evolution, you have different like you have a base move set at level one that you would get. I think it was this one. Um, <clears throat> and I think this was also the last one where they decided okay, like you know, like a Wailmore getting splashed. You're not getting anything else to like level 25 because when you catch it at 30, it would only have two moves. Uh, the other ones that come to mind is like Gen 1 Growlithe, or maybe it's not Growlithe, it's whatever, it's basically anything you can find in the um, in Blaine's Pokemon Research Lab or whatever. In the um, on on um, the volcano island, I can't even think about it. Cinnabar, Cinnabar Island, Cinnabon Island. <clears throat> But, um, yeah, you'd catch something in there and it's like level 40 and it only has two moves. And you're sitting there going, well, why does it have Growl and Ember on a Growlithe? And it's because, well, you're not supposed to catch it, you know, before that point in the game. 
So when you get like a regular uh, uh, Growlithe, I mean, it's, maybe, it's not Growlithe, I don't think, but it's some Pokemon in there. I can't remember which one it is. Maybe it's Grimer. It might be Grimer. I feel like you can see Grimer kind of early. <clears throat> okay, we got the Krogana anyway. We didn't make a really big deal out of that, but we got the Krogana. Um, I think we're ready to go inside this gym. We're going to put Chivamon on the front. Um, we'll double check, actually. This will be the first time we have an evolution. And he still has Vault Absorb, so I was correct about that. The way we have it set up, they will keep their abilities through evolutions. Um, but yeah, let's get that gym badge, guys. I'm excited. Hello, I'm Roxanne, uh, the Respiro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Yeah, I use Chipmon, Dilugent. Oh, you, oh, you wanted a, like a visual, a visual showing. Okay, yeah, we we could do a visual showing. Oh man. <clears throat> Driz oh, what a terrible thing for him to have. He's just setting up Dilution. Um, and I think not Sandshrew specifically, but I'm trying to think. Um, again, of just the mons that like you uh, you catch them at like level 30 or 40 or whatever, and they only have two moves. And um, obviously Sandshrew doesn't have a really good moveset. I think it's one of the worst movesets in the game. 2D. Step one, actually having two things weak to water as a rock type gym has a rock type Pokemon. Step two, random ability drizzle. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Aerodactyl is one of those Pokemon. It, it has wing attack until like level 35 because it doesn't expect you to see it in Aerodactyl before level 35. Um, I think they changed that in Fire Red Leaf Green. Seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. Pokemon's League's rules state that trainers are to be given if this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. Gamba got $1,500 from beating up a poor defenseless little girl. And received the stone badge from Roxanne. Okay. The stone badge, the stone badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. Um... <clears throat> that was always really interesting too when they're like this this strengthens your attack and I never really understood I like don't they just say that does it really strengthen my attack in any way like it's kind of strange get out get out of the way and what did I give him I give him like a Hulk Hogan wait please don't take my goods oh uh, not the goods he's got the goods and of course Devin researchers um they can run about 12 tiles before they get tired, so it's just unfortunate. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in some serious trouble. Oh, uh, we'll get your goods back. We'll get your goods back. All right, kind of unfortunate, too, that we... This is what, what our encounter was, and I've already seen that there was Crobats, which is just... Unfortunate. Absolutely unfortunate. Um, yeah, dude, it. This is probably my third best Pokemon, just because of how bad the rest of the stats are. Um, but I think we're still gonna just train Chipamon and Dilution for now. If we see something else, we'll catch it. We'll get to. We'll have that encounter in the um, in the cave soon. So that that'll be nice as well. Preschooler Forest sent out in Manectric. The thing about the Manectric is that I have a Dilution. I love to see this man you spark on me. Uh, it was really helpful. Spark! Ah! Oh. Wait, what? I didn't absorb that with Vault Absorb? I thought you absorbed Thunder Wave too. Maybe that's, um, is it Lightning Rod? I just sworn it was Vault Absorb. Maybe it's newer gens, it's Vault Absorb. That's unfortunate. I really thought I was just gonna absorb that. <laughs> and instead I just got paralyzed. If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. Hey! If you can't go through a tunnel, if you can't go through a cave, always can go above it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if my... Yeah, one-handed game... Oh, I can't go back, though. 
I only have ghost I moves. Oh my gosh, I keep wanting to drink more of that. But then it gets like so cold in my mouth and I have to stop. Uh, I can't imagine this elite trainer Esteban is going to give us any trouble here. It's possible though, this Cradilly's not going to be great. Um, so let's, let's talk about plans real quick. Um, but you know, we're somewhere between 12 and 15 minutes in right now. Um, you know, we've got our first batch. We're going to obviously go in here. We're going to save Pico. Probably go to Duford. We might get two badges this episode. We might, we might just snag some badges this episode. I mean, it's Duford, Duford, um, Duford Gym is very, very quick after you get to, after arriving in Duford. Of course, we do have, you know, 20 minutes, roughly, probably. Maybe a little more. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what we can do. I'm, I can't think of there really being anything I have to do that's gonna hurt. No, it's not my, no, 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 okay, boom, boom. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I just said. I'm trying to think. I can't think of there being so many things that um, I'm worried about anything. I do need to teach Cut to something. That is... Um, preferably... Here, hold on. Let's, let's see. Do we have a... Um... Thought we had maybe we have a it was a lava cookie. We have a burn heal. Um, do we have a potion as well? Any potions? One potion. Okay, let's um. What else did I want? I'll cut. Pain split. That's actually not bad. Um, let's see if we can teach this to anything realistically. Uh, I don't think anything can learn it except maybe normally dilution. Um, and our rule with HMs is, you know, we're allowed to teach it to anything. It just can't be used in a battle, uh, if the Pokemon doesn't naturally learn it. I don't think anything here learns it, so, uh, we'll give it to Mr. Crab. Um, and we just won't use it in battle, so we should be fine. Actually, we won't go this way yet. Let's go ahead and go through the tunnel. And grab Mr. Pico. Scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Hurrah, Pico! Uh, we'll get your Pico back, Mr. Briny. Or my name isn't Gambit. See incense. It clearly means that the culprit has gone out to sea. Mr. Briny, we've solved the case. Your Pico is at sea. Um, it was so, oh, there he is. Why is he so close? Okay, this is our encounter, so, uh, actually, yeah, I was gonna say, I think these might be, uh, static. Um, I don't know if that, I th I'm pretty sure last time I was in here, they were static to Wismer. I don't know why there's a Loudred. I feel like that's not supposed to be possible. Um, we'll see if we can catch it, but I'll, I'm gonna look around, and if it's just Wismers and Loudred, we're not gonna count it as. Um, I mean, I guess we could count it as a static, but we're not gonna count it as a randomized Pokemon, so it won't be a, a Nuzlocke Pokemon. Flame body, that's insane. All right, switch back. We'll get it. We'll make sure it stays sleeping. We'll throw some balls. The A OK. Oh, he's got Astonish. It only does five. Okay, we're good. Nice. Good good try, Loudred. Pound pound might work. Keep trying. Uproar. That that okay, it was close. It almost worked. Dude, try again. Try again. There we go. Um, yeah, if, if there's just Wismers in here and we got like the lucky 2% Loudred or whatever, um, we won't use it, but I will count it as dupes. I think that's only fair. <laughs> it's only because I don't want to catch this again. All right, we got it. I mean, its ability is still randomized, so it's not like entirely 
non-random, Loudred shouts while stamping its feet. After it finishes shouting, this Pokemon becomes incapable of hearing anything for a while. This is considered to be a weak point. <laughs> uh... I actually... I, like, low-key like Exploud. That was one of the Pokemon, um... If, here's the thing, if I just find Loudred, it actually unironically means that the Wismers randomized to Loudred, I believe. Which would be, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's only Wismer in this cave now that I'm thinking about it. But that's just like, <laughs> imagine unironically being randomized to the same Pokemon line. That's kind of funny. All right, I think I think that's what happened because I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to be Wismers in here. What are you coming? Come and get some, then, brother. Uh, Grah, kill haul it all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless, and I think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey, you! So you want to battle me, brother? Yeah, I'll battle you. Swimmer Marilyn. Just such a good name change, honestly. Oh, yes, we can drink. Mm. Why did it have to use ingrain? Oh, what else does it got? Sleep powder. That is a, a really obnoxious set, Tangela. <laughs> Absorb. I'm deeply contemplating using uh, Curse to uh, to do a lot more damage. Uh, it's got Absorb, Sleep Powder, and Grain. It could have one more move, but I'm willing to bet that it's like Tackle. Um, so I think we are going to go for the Curse. It should take away 25 of our HP, which should be fine. We should be fine here. Because at most, I think Absorb will do two on a crit. And even then, it might still do one because it might not have enough damage. Sleep Powder. Gosh, dude, Sleep Powder is so much more accurate than Hypnosis. It's just not fair. Just not fair. But again, that's why we have the curse. Let's actually check. We might have a Super Potion somewhere. Although this is quite obnoxious. We have the lemonade, so I might just use it so I don't hear the sound anymore. Yeah. It's a bit of a waste. But then I don't have to hear the sound anymore. Um, we do want to wake up before, though. No, we're not going to wake up. It's not my lead Pokemon is sleeping, and I'm just not a fan of that. That's whatever, I guess. Chip him on game with 390 points. Arr, my career in crime comes to a dead end. Oh, I don't know why I switched to Southern Drawl, but... This is plain not right, brother. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devin. Ch you wanted that. Bag that badly, take it. Tain the Devin goods. Can't be put the way the Devin goods. Come on, Pico, let's go. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. Pico owes a life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are. Ah, so you're Gambit. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. Pio. <laughs> um, and I do. There's no item there. Okay. Yeah, dude, I, don't, I still can't believe this blows my mind that we had a randomized Loudred inside of the Wismer cave. And I'm pretty sure last time we got a Wismer. I don't know the last time I guess I played a randomized Sapphire, but I'm pretty sure last time I randomized a Sapphire we got Wismer. Just so weird. Oops. Uh, now this guy's out of the way. 
So you can go dig. We're going to see. I think we can talk to someone in here for like a, a belt. No, we have the matcha brace. No, okay, maybe not. Interesting. So we don't... I thought we had the Macho Brace. Maybe it's in Verdant Turf Town. Maybe we have a bad intel. Okay, so we got a couple Pokemon here. Pokemon Trainers, rather. Just some good experience. Um, then we can head on, return the package, get to Duford, and I guess we're really not going to do much other than that, but we'll, we'll get the badge next next episode, most likely. Oh, man. I can't wait to get more water. And... Uh, put him to sleep. Because I want to switch back out now to the um, to Dilution. Problem I have is I don't want to take extra damage. I'm already going to be burned. I'm already not a big fan of the switch, but... I think I'll do more damage with Water Gun. Especially with the, um, the Mystic Water on him. Yeah, that's doing a lot more. Oh, I mean, we'll hit level 20 on Dilution. That's going to be pretty cool as well. Not bad at all. Doing A-OK. -okay. Pike only slacked out from the school. That's why I lost. I don't know why I gave him that voice either. I, we're just we're tired, I think. I studied at school and I studied on the way home too. Oh, okay. Studious. I like it. Not bad. Okay, never mind. Biker Max. I think it used to be Schoolgirl Sarah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, nice. Good paralyzed. I was going to say, this is not the best. Oh, he's only got nice shit. I was like, this is not the best because I think he's actually got better stats for ghost types uh, in this gen. He's definitely got the higher defense, and I think he's got higher or roughly the same attack. Um, gosh, dude, these, these Pokemon. Like, the, it's the burn, I think, on Dilution. It's just not great at all. But these beautiful drizzles making it rain. I think I think if, if the weather rains and you have a Pokemon that's burned, it should immediately become washed off. That, that Pokemon should not be burned if it's drizzling outside. If you're outside and you're getting burned, something's wrong in the rain. Like, if you're outside in the rain and you're getting burned, something's wrong. One max ether. That's not, that's not bad. That's also clean. It's actually... I think in a Nuzlocke, one of the better items I can uh, get a randomized uh, snag on. Or just, I think it's snag in general. Like, I mean, Nuzlocke's are really good because, uh, you know, you're po you're not going to be able to uh, to heal dead Pokemon, which means if he's alive, you need PP. Gonna have to use those uh, those items. You know, you can heal him all you want, but if he doesn't have moves left. He's gone, <laughs> useless. All right, let's um, turn in this package. Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods? You did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know it's my thanks, I'll give you another Great Ball. Man, you're just stock full of those Great Balls, huh? Why don't you just give me about 20 of them, please? Excuse me, please, please come with me. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell... Uh, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us, could I get you to deliver that to Shipyard and Slateport? It'd be awful those robbers tried to make it... Uh, tried to rob it again. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, could I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here a second? Okay, just you're just asking me favors left and right, and then you're just gonna bounce like that. Okay, it's, it's whatever. It's, it's fine. It's fine. You do you. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Please go ahead. I'm right here. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to, to Stephen in Duford. He actually lives in Moss Deep City. I don't know if you know this. Maybe you want me to deliver it there. 
You should know that I am a great president. Now, why should I know that? Why on earth am I supposed to just know that you're a great president? So I'd never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. It's a backpack. Carry it around with you everywhere. It'll give you back pains over the years. Ah, the fools. It's a Pokemon Navigator or Pokenav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on a Pokemon. Or train... <laughs> Any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Duford and Slateport easily. All right, get me out of here. We're done. Show me this Pokemon nav machine. Does this thing work? Oh, it's not bad. Okay, okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, there's Duford. I don't know how I'm going to swim all the way out there into Slateport, but obviously we're just going to take the boat, guys. Obviously, we just take the boat. Everything's fine and dandy. One of these persons gives you an item. He gets this guy. Mm. No. Please do not. I thought someone in here gave you something. Maybe it's just this guy um, can revive fossils and that's it. Okay, interesting. I, th I thought for sure someone gave you an item in here, but obviously that is not true because we did not get an item. Um... But yeah, let's go get that louder. I'm actually kind of keen to be using it um, over a lot of stuff that I currently have. So we'll grab it, you know, grab speakers out. Maybe I should have named louder after something. I actually do like speakers as the nickname, though. Um, I think I actually dislike the cast form the most, but... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll use, like, a little bit of louder. Like I said, I've never used an X-Plot. I think that's kind of neat. Um... We obviously already know it's, it's uh, abilities, flame body, so it's not bad. Um, and it's fairly it's fairly bulky. It's got like a good amount of HP, I believe. Let's see what its stats look like. Flame body burns the foe on contact docile. I don't know what that is, but attack and special both at 14. Eh, not, not terrible. It's level six, you know. I mean, it'll, it'll take a little while to get up, but it's it's there. Let's actually move him here. I kind of do want I think I will get speakers up a little bit. Um, we might make it to do for now. I might do some off-screen grinding there. Gambit, how's your Pokedex? Have you filled in any pages yet? Mine rules. I went on a Pokemon catching frenzy in Petalburg Woods until I ran out of Pokeballs. That's cool, man. I'm only allowed to catch one Pokemon per route, so I don't have as nice of a time, I guess, as you. All right, let's see what we got here. Got a couple of free items we can snag as well. Kind of interesting, honestly, how they they choose to bottleneck you in this area. Like you can't you can't go north of um, of Rustboro without surf. You can't really do you know anything east of of the uh, the starting area without surf. You you can't challenge your dad's gym until you have five gym badges. So then it's like, okay, well, how the heck do you get out of <laughs> out of Petalburg um, to uh, to train? You know. It's, um, actually, I think I'm going to start switch training. I don't remember what's in here. Maybe it's nothing good, but... Oh, neat, that's the badge. You must be a trainer. Try using this item. Miracle Seed. That's a static. Not bad. Whoops. I thought there was an item in here that um, I got because of cut. Oh, there it is. <sighs> oh, it's the Metatite. That's right. Um, what are your moves? I didn't mean to shift. Boop. I think we're just running now. I don't want to double. I don't want to. I think it's meditate, meditate and bide, and I had nothing to worry about. But it's gonna not be nearly enough experience to be worth it now. One, pff. dude. Hold on. How many? I. What did I say last time? I was like, if I get six DC tooths, we'll have a whole team of Huntails. We'll just screw the Nuzlocke. We're at three. And we've only got one gym badge. What is happening? Gosh, one silver powder. At least it's not a deep sea tooth. One shell bell. I've actually gotten shoal salt and the other one, I think, as well. Maybe we already have the whole shell bell, too, somewhere. Togepies were in here the whole time. 
upper is actually. I was gonna say upper. It's physical, which is also interesting because it's normal type, and in this game, normal type moves are. That's, that was the invis item. Um, normal types are all physical. It's very interesting. I think that's part why I kind of want to use the X blood because I don't have to worry about the physical special split. All right, old man, take me to Duford. Hold on, lass. Mm, yo, Gambit, you saved my darling Pico. We owe you so much to you. What's that? You want to sail with me? You have a letter bound for Duford and a pack to sleep, but then quite the busy life you must lead. But certainly what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Duford. Oh, yes. Duford, here we come. Hang us away. Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. Absolute mad lad. Put my phone on the charger real quick um yeah we'll probably call it here in a minute and i'll probably actually do a double recording because i am just feeling the pokemon grind right now we'll probably grind up a little bit with a loud at first but <laughs> ahoy we've hit land in doofin i suppose you're off to deliver that letter to do who i sit now he's my grandson for years steven oh wait he's my grandfather for years i, I can't remember all right um, actually, because I believe this is a, um, old route right here. Um, well, we'll end with an encounter. You know, we'll have some fun. We are a little bit, I think, near time, but, you know, yeah, it's, it's just nice. It's nice to pull in. So this is actually when we did our, our race lock to this Duford gym. This was one of my strats, by the way. So you have Duford, you have Route 107. You also have the route up north. Uh, and I definitely, I definitely went here because it's just a static. It's just a random one-to-one -one encounter, randomized, you know. So, uh, but let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use our 107. We'll actually register because we'll probably use it a few times here. But let's get our Route 107 random encounter. We should still have plenty of Pokeballs. Come on. This is how we're ending the video. Come on. Oh, a bite. A Pokemon's on the hook. Let's see what we get. And a okay, okay. I like that. I like that. I'm a fan. Now this this Swallet definitely carried us through XD, Gale of Darkness. Oh, okay, good. Um, so we'll catch it. We may not like. Uh, we may not use this one as much, but I am a fan of this Pokemon. It's solid Pokemon for sure. Oh, he's got Yawn. He's he's dangerous. Ah. Uh, okay, we did get it to sleep on him. I was about to say, don't think it can really hurt me. Um, and let's, we got plenty of balls. Oh, come on! Come on, come on. Oh, it's not sleeping anymore. I probably should actually wait. Put it back to sleep. Or... Wow, let's go! We got it. That's how we'll end this one, guys. Um, Swallet has no teeth, so what it eats, it swallows whole, no matter what. Its cavernous mouth yawns widely. An automobile tire could easily fit inside this Pokemon's mouth. Oh, man. Oh, man. <sighs> You know what? Since we didn't start with Slugma, we'll name this one Slugma. <laughs> in memory, of course, of the finest of work he put in in that XD series that we did not too long ago. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you did enjoy the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot. And as always, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.